For those of you born under the sign of the red, this is your forecast for the year 2019. Now, in the year of the earthquake, there are three auspicious stars in your destiny palace. And these stars are the sun, the heavenly nobleman, and uh, this is my favorite, it's called the heavenly hub. Now, these three stars has a positive effect in your entire destiny in 2019. But of course, you must know how to activate the positive energy for the year. Now, let's talk about the first star, the sun. When you have the sun in your destiny palace, you'll find a lot of people will come to you and ask you for help. So that's because the sun is one of the greatest noblemen helping and assisting other people. So if you want to activate the positive energy of the sun, you got to be able to serve, to protect, to help, to assist other people. That way you activate the powers of the sun, you gain the nobleman's strength. In fact, when you can help other people, that means you are sufficient, you are living in abundance. When you keep on asking for help and needing help, that means you live in scarcity and you always have problems. So remember, with the sun in your destiny chart, you will become the helpful people to a lot of your friends, a lot of your colleagues. In fact, maybe even to your superiors. Now, the heavenly nobleman indicates that at the right time, at the right moment, the right people will turn up. So if you're pursuing your dreams, you want to do your startup this year, you want to pursue your new career, you want to do your new business, the right person will turn up. It's about hiring the right person, partnering the right person, or even finding the right co-founders. It's one of the best stars to have. Heavenly nobleman, it's about having the right people at the right time when you need them. And lastly, the heavenly hub. Now, Heavenly Hub is a star that represents market control or in the old days, territorial control. Now, if you're an entrepreneur or you're a business owner, you're going to launch your business or you want to go into a new market, you want to be able to dominate a space, well, this star is one of the best stars to have. It does indicate that you have the power, authority and the good fortune of being able to recognize the gap in the market and dominate that space. So, in order to use this, First of all, you got to start something, right? You got to be able to go out and, you know, market something, promote something, do something. Now, if you're just sitting at home, not doing much, hoping that shit happens in your life, nothing's going to happen, all right? In order to activate any of these good stars, you got to pursue that, that activity in order to gain that sort of benefits. A lot of people think, hey, I got good stars this year, I'm going to just sit at home and wait for good shit to happen. Nothing will happen, okay? In order for good things to happen, you got to take the first step towards pursuing your goals, okay? So the sun, help other people. The heavenly nobleman, seek the right talent to support you. And lastly, gain market share, okay? These three things. Now, let's talk about the negative stars. You know, there's no such thing as only positive stars and no negative stars. What should you watch out for in the year 2019? So you have these negative stars. First one is Salty Pool, second one is called the Annual Shah, and third one is called Sky Emptiness, and the fourth is called Bad Chi. Now, not all of them are that bad. In fact, if you look at the Salty Pool, Salty Pool actually represents unexpected relationships, okay, or unexpected intimacy. Now, in the old days, this is regarded as negative. But if you are single, and you are going out to have fun and somebody suitable turns up, this is actually a good start to have. The problem is you're already married and you're committed to someone else and somebody else turn up. That could be a distraction to you. So you gotta take note of this stuff. This is a tricky one here, okay? And the next one here is called the sky emptiness. Sky emptiness basically means a person who has a lot of big thoughts, big plans and then didn't take action, okay? Now, that's why I emphasize that with the positive stars, you have to do something because sky emptiness is a lot of talk and no action. This is the problem. Sky empty means like, wow, you, the plans are big. You make big announcements. You tell all your friends about this stuff that you're going to do and then suddenly, nothing happens. The passion dies down, okay? So you're going to avoid the negative impact of the sky emptiness and focus on making the first step, okay? Everything begins with taking the first step. Now, the next one is called Annual Shah. Is this a little bit of obstacles and problems from some naysayers? You know what? Don't care about these assholes, all right? They can't really do much in your life. This Annual Shah basically indicates a little bit of blockages these people present. Remember, you have the nobleman star, you have the sun with you, even you have the heavenly hub supporting you. Of course, you're going to meet with some obstacles. It's okay. And finally, battery does indicate some form of illness issue. Your energy level might get a little bit low throughout the year. So what you need to do is, you know, keep healthy, stay healthy, stay fit, you know, do some exercise, do some yoga, do some meditation. This is not a problem at all. I think overall, for those of you with the red in your chart, 2019 
will be pretty positive. So let's go into details, shall we? Now, if you're the red, you're born in the red year, that means all I've spoken about earlier on relates to your friends and social circle. Okay, if you're born in the red year, that means this year is really good for you to open up new markets, open up new channels, make new contacts, do more networking because your friends' palace right here, your industrial palace right here, they have the support of the heavenly hub as well as the sun, as well as the nobleman star. Now, however, if you're born in the month of the red like this, these are the dates for it. So if you're born in this one, that means your career, your career, you become the helpful person to other people in your workforce, maybe to, to your boss, to your shareholders, or maybe to your staff or your colleagues, okay? Now with the heavenly nobleman in the red inside your month palace, it does indicate if you're hiring, you will be hiring many superstars into your team. Now, if you're looking for co-founders to start your business this year, this will be a perfect year for it, unless you're doing this in the month of June because there's a clash, okay? Now, if you are born in the red day, the day of the red, there are two ways to read this. For guys, it is slightly better. It does mean that you will have really good relationships this year because the salty pool is in your relationship palace and the sun, which is good for guys, will mitigate the negative aspect of that salty pool. However, if you're a lady and you have the red in your spouse palace, which is the day of birth right here, that does indicate that you might be a little bit confused and or have maybe too many options in your relationship this year. Now, of course, if you're single, too many options is a good thing. If you're already attached to someone, this might be a little bit complex when it comes to relationship matters. But not to worry, as long as you have self-control, the end of the year will be still okay for you. Now, finally, if the red is in the hour pillar, the hour pillar represents children and also investments. It also represents ambition. With the sun and the heavenly nobleman, as well as the heavenly hub, in the hour pillar, it's great for investment opportunities, but it does mean going abroad, looking for international markets, or you gotta explore markets that you have not previously looked at. Now remember, investment requires a bit of study and research, okay? Do not speculate because none of these stars is actually good for speculation, but it's good for research. The heavenly nobleman will look for the right advisors and the right person for you, so be sure to ask for help and you will receive help. So overall, I think those of you who have read in your destiny chart this year, 2019 will be pretty much awesome for you. So remember, have big plans, big goals, and take action. So you want to learn more about 2019's forecast for you, your friends, and your family members, see the link on your screen or on the comment section right now. Click on this and go and download the Trivers Guide for 2019. A lot more information is inside and don't forget to share this with your friends. I'm Joey Yap and here's wishing you a prosperous and awesome 2019.